live from the field house at the University of Texas Pan American where we are in the regional finals with the Cibolo Steel Lady Knights taking on the Wagner Lady Thunderbirds. I'm Carlos Roberto along with David Fox for the, this broadcast live on 956sports.com. Good afternoon, everybody. Listening in the Rio Grande Valley, San Antonio, wherever you're at. Checking out some great competition here. It was uh, San Antonio Wagner beating Westlaco yesterday and Cibolo Steel beating Harlingen to get to this finals here in Region 4. The winner here goes to the state Final Four. Should be an interesting basketball game. Both these two teams were able to blow out the Valley opponent uh, yesterday. But uh, I'm talking a little bit about this game, who do you think has the advantage here this afternoon? You know, I'll give a slight advantage to uh, Wagner just because of the point guard, the freshman sensation. Uh, I uh, Wagner comes in here with a record of 32 and 6, 91 in district play. Got here by way of victories over Madison, Clark, Churchill, and of course Wessico last night. Steele comes in here with a record of 31 and 5, 10 and 0 in district play. They're winning a 14-game winning streak. They're coached by Kylie Wallace uh, with victories over Brandeis, Judson, Reagan, and of course they defeated Hardings last night. Um, you know, the interesting matchup tonight is going to be between both point guards and Sarai Rodriguez and Amber, Amber Benitez. You know, I think that's going to be the key matchup. But underneath, you know, you've got Smith who uh, has an excellent height advantage, uh, but she's evenly matched by the two uh, the two players in, in Lambert and uh, Calvert from Cibolo Steel, so it'll be good. I think the key is going to be whether or not Ramirez and, and Rodriguez can uh, offset each other. Yeah, it'll be uh, very, very good. And, and one of the um, interesting developments from yesterday's basketball game is that it looks like Corina Moncada will not be starting tonight. And 
Not sure if she's going to be able to see any playing time at all. Worrying her full warm-ups. Standing up right now at the side of the bench. So she's not even playing here uh, this afternoon. And uh, so they'll have to go with someone else with the good ball handling skills. And I'm sure very, very loaded is Wagner. Uh, so I'm sure that they'll have someone else handling the ball here for them. So here we go. And uh, just getting started here. And there you see Amber Ramirez, who is just a fierce competitor, very good off the dribble, uh, just a freshman here for San Antonio Wagner. Ross handles the ball, and she did a very good job yesterday as well, handling the ball for the T-Birds. As uh, San Antonio Wagner comes out, they're all black uniforms with a little bit of red trim, and similar with Stewart, all white in black lettering. Right now they're working around, very, very careful, as these two, these two teams from the San Antonio area compete, from the San Antonio area, compete for the right to go to the state final four inside the Smith and they continue to work it out until they find the open shot very very patient are the Solo Steel Knights on defense and so are the Wagner Lady Thunderbirds and that one will go to the Knights. Wagner comes out in their pattern to press and of course you know, Steel breaks that really quick gets down court in a hurry and, and you know you're going to see this offense it's run around uh, Calvert and Lambert as they run looks like a, some type of motion offense and They'll try to work the ball in, and, and there's that matchup we talked about, Sarayi, Rodriguez, and, and uh, Amber Ramirez, and again, I, I really think that's going to be the key to that. Quick fast break on the other end, and after the turnover there, two points for Kyle Lambert, and she gets on the board here for the Lady Knights. Yeah, Lambert and, and Calvert, uh, I'm sorry, Lambert and, and La Calvert are just a tremendous uh, force up front in that press, and they score a lot of buckets off of, the, uh, off of that press, and then you see Ramirez already busting up with a three-point shot. Ramirez gets on the board with a three-pointer, and uh, here we go. In the first quarter, fast-paced action between these two teams. Going back and forth, Sarai Rodriguez handling the ball here right now for the Lady Knights. Calling out the plays in an intense, tense game here between these two competitors. Kara Lambert now with the ball. Over there to Jay Brady. And Brady will take a shot from the outside. No good rebound. Looks like it's going to go to Wagner. Or the Lady Knights. Lambert in on the rebound there. Too much on you. Yeah, I'll move it away. How about that? Is that better? Okay. All uh, right, here we go. Once again, Brady, outside shot, no good. And rebound, Ross. And I know it's early in the game, but we still haven't seen much of the presence of Smith yet. Amber Ramirez loves to take that shot. She practiced that shot up in the top of the point. All pregame. Inside to Smith, but the good defense there. She was double teamed inside the paint. Leads to a turnover. Lambert passing. Calvert, shot from the outside. No good. Rebound Smith. Her second rebound. How many? She was in double figures as far as the rebounds concerned last night. I think she left the game in midway through the third quarter. She had something like 13 or 14. Calvert and Ross mixing it up a little bit there. Good sportsmanship helping each other up. I think with the presence of Calvert and Lambert underneath, they're going to certainly offset Smith. Uh, interesting development already. Sarai Rodriguez has already gone to the bench. Just two minutes into the game. Yeah, and coming in for Rodriguez. Let's see. Check that. It's Bree, Bree Millet. Bree Miller. She came off the bench last uh, night and had a very, very good game. Count that as Erica Chapman. For the Lady Knights, makes the score four to three. Yeah, Bree Miller is actually one of those players who uh, plays underneath, but has got great ball handling skills. Clark, nice little jumper there. And now it's Wagner on top, five to four. Bree Millett with the uh, rebound, looking. Working the ball, very, very patient now, once again. Lady Knights, Millet driving, looking, trying to find some space, and she does with a reverse layup. You know, with Millet again showing her ball handling skills, she takes the baseline real quick. Talked about this yesterday during the broadcast, and the girls from San Antonio, as soon as they get the ball, they know exactly where they're going and what they want to do with the ball. All right, here we go with Ross over there, and Brady working on her. Jade, Brady, and Ross are going to have a battle here tonight. And so are these two right here, Ramirez and Lambert. Rebound, Brady out quickly to Calvert. And Calvert making it eight to five now, Lady Knights. You know, we talked about them yesterday. Their speed on the fast break is just 
it, it's amazing, and they don't miss layups. There's very few shots that we missed by them uh, inside the paint. Right? Smith will come out here, try to second a pick. As uh, she's trying to get Ramirez open, a little pick and roll here. Smith trying to pass it out, blocked and by Coward, and Coward will take this one, trying to go coast to coast, passes it up though to Lambert, and score another two points, and they go on a little run here through the Lady Knights, and they're on top right now with 3.36 in the first quarter, 10 to five. So Coward and Lambert show a lot of what we saw last night, just either stealing the ball in the uh, press or stealing it down low uh, on that pass into Smith. You know, this is, this is a deadly combination that they've got, those two players. A lot of speed on these two teams, and you can't afford a turnover because both these, these two teams have so much speed and they can handle the ball so well that once there's a turnover, there's already sh someone shooting the other side of the court. Yeah, it's uh, almost as if they're cherry picking, if you will, one of the uh, sandlot or backyard basketball terms that's being used, but you know, they, they, they know where they are, each of the other players is at any given time, and as soon as somebody comes out with a rebound, you have to be right, they look straight to the timeline. Look to feed it out and, and get the uh, fast break going. All right, 3.36 in the first quarter. 10 to 6 right now is our score with the uh, Cibolo Steel Lady Knights on top. 10 to 5. Ramirez handling the ball. Amber Ramirez, freshman guard here for San Antonio Wagner. Out to Ashley Ross. Ashley Ross and Ramirez are the two good ball handlers here on this team. And Clark, she could also uh, dribble penetrate. You gotta watch out for her. And here comes Ramirez. Out to Ross, trying to go and get Smith working inside. And Smith gets the ball inside the paint, see what she can do here, and score two points there for Smith. Yeah, Smith does a great job there. She's inside, turns around, fakes a pass, and then swings the other way, puts it up for a quick bucket. Lambert out to Chapman, finds Brady on the other end, and nice little rotation there on the ball from one end of the court to the other. 12 to 7, Lady Knights on top. Yeah, that's what they do so well. They're always looking for somebody on an open man. Found out Brady on the backside and was able to get an easy, easy bucket. Trying to work it inside. See if they go back inside to uh, Smith, to Tisha Smith. And try to get her going again. Ross pitches it to the outside. Shot, that's Brady. No, nope, Clark actually hits that one. And it's 12 to 9 now. Cibolo still on top. As they move the ball around here, Cibolo still and score that one for Mackenzie Calvert. Under two minutes now left in the first quarter, 15 to nine, Cibolo still on top. Yeah, Calvert showing her versatility. Not only can she dominate down under, underneath, but she's got an outside game as well as a beautiful shot. Trying to get inside to Tisha. Tisha working it there, tries to break for the double team, and count that, nope, they're actually gonna call a foul, it looks like, on Smith, well, let's see. If he stayed at the line. Yep. Did they give her the bucket? Yeah, they did give her the bucket. Give her the bucket. They gave Opportunity her. there for Smith to do it, get an and one. Possible three point here, play here for Tisha Smith. Six foot one senior. Be interesting to see where she ends up playing at the next level, certainly with a lot of talent and signs for San Antonio Wagner. 16 to 12 now the score. Lady Knights on top. 141 left in the first quarter. Good game here, three point contest. As uh, the spread, I should say, 15 to 12. Defense! Defense! Kyle Lambert working out there in the corner, spreading this uh, court out a little bit and trying to find some open lanes. Shot from the outside, count that one. Mackenzie Calvert. Junior guard scores there, 18 to 12. Cibolo Steel. Ramirez, been kind of quiet for Ramirez so far. She's got only two points, but we're still in the first quarter. Smith, she's double teamed. They do a good job of double teaming. As soon as they get in there, they're on her really quick. Yeah, Bree Miller does a good job of coming from the weak side and then sealing off that uh, lane to the basket, making sure that Smith has a difficult time as she turns around trying to put up her shot. Tisha Smith with the ball. She'll give it up. That shot is no good. And rebound. Clark will battle for it. And who are they going to say? It looks like Wagner keeps the possession. All right, here we go. Ross handling the ball. Still trying to feed it inside to Smith. They're trying to get Tisha Smith going, most definitely. Nice little turnaround off the glass. No good. Good defense there by the Knights. 
And they're gonna call a ball, a foul there on Tisha Smith. We got the San Antonio Wagner team uh, fans right behind us, so you hear a lot of cheering for the girls in black and red. That's because they are right behind us. Interesting that uh, Wagner's chosen not to go with their press this evening. Uh, as they did the other day, I guess they've scouted and realized that it's, it's kind of a moot point as, as they can see that they're going to, oh, Smith steps out of back with it. Yeah. As they know that they're going to be able to break the press and be wasting a lot of energy, I would imagine. Uh, Tisha Smith rebounded that one nicely, but stepped on the baseline, so it goes right back to the Knights. And Brady took a shot right from that spot and didn't like it this time around. That's another shot. Beautiful ball rotation there, Erica Chapman. And uh, making score 20 to 12. Lady Knights on top. You know, it'll be interesting to see what the uh, stats are in regards to percentage of shots made because I think that uh, Sabola maybe only missed one shot the whole game. There's going to be a foul right there with 8.7 seconds left in the first quarter on, uh, looks like, Jade Brady. Foul on her. 8.7 seconds left in the first quarter. 20 to 12 is our score. Lady Knights on top. Let's see, they're trying to feed it inside to Smith. Off the glass, good. That time, she just muscled her way up there. Yeah, it's kind of difficult for Lambert the Calvert to get back up there. Final seconds of the first quarter, a shot from half court almost goes in there for Kyle Lambert. And that's the end of the first. And right now it is the Lady Knights from Cibolo Steel leading by a score of 20 to 14. You got the scoreboard okay? Yeah. Second quarter about to begin. You're listening to the regional championship game here live at Texas Pan American. I'm Carlos Robo along with David Fox. We hope you're enjoying this broadcast, whether you're listening in the Rio Grande Valley or you're listening to us from San Antonio. Welcome to our broadcast. And you know, there's probably people from outside of those two areas that are uh, listening to this basketball game because we get a lot of hits from all over the country. Go, going to the stats real quick. You know, San Antonio Wagner shooting 66.7%. And uh, Sabella's still at 60%. That's unheard of. Very, very selective with their shots as well, David. And very, very careful. They don't put up wild shots at all. Very well disciplined. Ramirez from the three-point line. College three-point line. That one no good. Rebound. And coming up with the ball is Lambert. Carl Lambert is a sophomore on this team. One of the leaders here at a 5-9 for Sibolo Steel. Dave Brady. She wanted to shoot that one, it advised pass, but somehow gets back to the Knights. Nice little drive to the baseline. Erica Chapman with two points for her. 22 to 14 is our score. Ross and Amidas setting up the play here between the two. Gonna switch that ball around. What a great ball handler both these girls are. They try to spread it out a little bit and try to get inside to Tisha Smith. There she goes. Double, triple team. Loses the ball, finds it. Up. And she's going to be fouled. And if anything, maybe the shot doesn't go in, but she'll put some of those girls that are working on her in a little bit of foul trouble. Yeah, and then and you've got the Lambert down there. And, and that's kind of big, right? Because you can take Lambert out of the game or Calvert out of the game. Uh, it's a big advantage for you because, then, as I mentioned, together the, the dynamic duo has put up a lot of points, uh, not only last night, but they started off on a good run here this evening as well. Mackenzie Calvert with eight points for Cibolo Steele. Leading score in the game so far. Tisha Smith with seven. Make that eight now for her. Second shot here for Smith. Good for the free throw line as she is. At uh, 6 minutes and 56 seconds here in the second quarter, 22 to 16. Good battle here blowing between these two San Antonio schools. 
Pulling up and shooting for the three-point line. No good. Rebound, solo steal. Ross out to Ramirez quickly down the court. Then the ground strong. Score it there. For Ramirez. Amber Ramirez put points on the board for San Antonio Wagner. And they need her to get hot. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, people are going to forget if you, maybe, if you haven't been paying attention in the last couple of days. This is a freshman that you're looking at. And she took that ball straight to the rack and went up with a lot of authority and was able to get the ball to drop. And now she's got an opportunity for a quick extra, uh, an extra point on a big, big three-point play here. Three points the hard way here for Ramirez. And she's got six points on the game. And it's now 22 to 19 as this game tightens up a little bit here in the second quarter. Working it right now. Millet trying to pass it inside. Taken away. Similar spiel. Ramirez once again. Deadly in the open court. And can't get that one to fall. And Ramirez rebounded. Now they come the other end. Calvert. Strong to the group. Countdown right there for Calvert. As she puts it in. Mackenzie Calvert. And one. She'll go to the line. Back and forth we go in this game. And this is the type of game you expect to see. is just a run and gun. And see who can out hustle everybody else. It's, this is a... Uh, an exciting game to watch. Very, very good. Very, very exciting. Fast pace with Ramirez on one side and Calvert on the other. And both these two girls and both these two teams just uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Brady exits the game and it looks like Sadler uh, Lee Rodriguez comes back in. Calvert's shot is good for McKenzie Calvert. And Calvert now with 11 points. For Cibolo still 22, I'm sorry, 25-19. Cibolo on top. Trying to get inside once again. Tatisha Smith. She gets it. Double team. Picks it back outside. Shoot from three-point line. No good. Rebound. Clark battling right there. She gets it right back. And they're going to say she took one step too many. And that'll be a turnover. She just stepped into that a little too much and her back foot came up off the ground. Yeah, it was like she not sure what she wanted to do. She wanted to pass it or dribble it. And that's... Uh, you know, that's what happens when you play at that high level of competition, which is what we have here. The two best teams right now battling out in the Region 4. Lambert to Millet. Way across to Rodriguez, and Ross able to come up with that one. Comes out of nowhere, and she's going to take this one and dribble it all the way for San Antonio Ryder. 25-21. Lady Knights on top. You know, just before that action there, you saw uh, Kyra Lambert you know, telling Savio Rodriguez to be very careful with her passes, and she lobbed one over to her, and that, that's an example of what happens anytime you lob something in the game yeah. like this. Yeah, because Rodriguez is wide open over here, and there you go, that's a big, that's a safer pass there to her. Now she's trying to feed that one in, they're going to say she travels right there on the wing. We called it about a second or two after it happened, she actually walked and into a couple of people, and then they made the call. Timeout on the floor, 5.09 remaining in the second quarter, 25-21. Good, nice, fast-paced basketball game between San Antonio Cibolo Steel and the San Antonio Wagner Region 4 Tournament. Good contest here. Small crowd on hand, but we do have the faithful from San Antonio Wagner right behind us and some uh, fans also from Cibolo Steel on the other end here at Texas Pan American. We want to thank them and of course our listening audience for tuning in to 956sports.com. Also got some scouts here from uh, Dallas Duncan High School up at the top. And I'm sure there's other scouts as well, but I noticed those uh, girls, basketball coaches up there. Thank you. I want to thank UTPA for the hospitality they've given us here today. Got stats and stats and more stats. And gotta love that. <laughs> coming out of the timeout here, you're gonna have the original starting five coming in for both teams. Uh, Salud Rodriguez again, and uh, you've got Calvert, Lambert, and Bree Miller's also in and on the, the play there, and uh, Erica Chapman. Interesting development there is now you have Salud Rodriguez not covering. Uh, Ramirez, but you've got uh, Lambert on Ramirez. All right, here we go. Ross shot from the outside. Rebound Smith, it looked like. Nope, loses it. And here we go. On the other end is are the Knights. Rodriguez, Sarai. They say she walked, but nope, they don't call it. Shot, no good. 
And this game is getting intense now between these two, two, these two schools. Yep, it started out just a little bit slow, but the pace has certainly picked up. You can feel the electricity in the air um, as the momentum's not, not in any one team's favor right now, but you, know, you, can, you can sense the uh, urgency on both teams as they battle for each and every rebound, and then they get really physical underneath there. All right, to the line there, that was Erica Chapman making it 26-21 now. And coming into the game here, it looks like for Cibolo, uh, for Wagner will be Ashley Dunn. Taking a break will be Wilson. Second shot is good, 27-21. It's been all, not all Cibolo Steel, but Cibolo Steel has held the lead throughout the entire game. And they've done a good job of containing uh, Ramirez, Ramirez from the outside, and, and they got to contain also Wilson, I'm sorry, Smith on the inside, Tisha Smith. Yeah, there's that matchup you just talked about, Lambert on, on Ramirez, and that's gonna be key to the game. Clark's also been a little bit quiet as well. And here they go, once again. Trying a little pick and roll here between Ross and Smith. And actually, Ross is just looking to get open, and she scores that one, a three-pointer for Ross. Three-point game, 27-24, Cibolo still on top. Yeah, Ross did a wonderful job there of working that pick and making sure she got into the open area. Sarri Rodriguez, rebound, no good. And come down by Wagner, Wagner with the ball. And what are they gonna call a blocking foul there that time as Lambert was working her way around and trying to drive baseline. Yeah, Lambert has that little hesitation move and she'll come give you a little hesitation head fake, gets you up in the air and then she just goes right around you with that lightning speed. 3.40 before the half, 27-24. Lady Knights on top. Brady, outside shot, no good. Rebound, San Antonio Wagner. Ross looking for someone who is open to go down the court quickly. Instead, they'll reset the offense and give the ball up to Clark. Now to Ramirez. And let's see what she can do. Looking to go inside to Smith. And here they go. She's double teamed with the ball. Triple team now. Gets rid of it to Ross. And Ross is open. The outside shot. Hit a three-pointer earlier. Rebound, Wagner. And who comes up with this one? Looks like the Knights will have possession. Yeah, it looked like McKenzie Calvert got it. Into position there, and she was uh, blocked there by uh, Jasmine Shaw. Uh, she was trying to come out from underneath. The, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not Jasmine Shaw. That's uh, Clark, who gets called for the uh, blocking foul there. All right, Kyra Lambert now with the ball. With a 27-24 lead. The Knights, Sarai Rodriguez, no good. Smith comes in there and just sweeps that one away from everybody. Clark wants to go quickly down to Ramirez. Ramirez, shot from the outside. Count that one there for Ramirez. Amber Ramirez, the freshman, hits that one. One point game, 27-26. Lady Knight still on top. Rodriguez feeds it inside, turnover. Ross now with the ball, out in the open court, looking to pass it to someone. And she does, but unable to handle it there, is done. Yeah, you see Ramirez over there now, it looks like she's uh, turned up her game just a little bit. As she's a player who feeds off a lot on emotion. When they're in the open court, that's when they're very, very dangerous. And Ross can really handle that ball and find that open person. you got to be ready for the pass. One point game, 27-26. Lady Knights on top, 229 left in the second quarter. Lambert outside. Not, I'm sorry, that's not Lambert. That is Calvert. Rebound. That's Lambert. Yeah, Lambert. Great interception there, playing center field. Outside shot, short, no good. Bree Millet with a rebound. Brady, she likes that spot. Almost, not quite, not enough. Smith. And they're gonna say a foul against the Lady Knights. We call the foul here on Chapman. Smith already with five boards in the evening. Calvert with 11 points leading the Lady Knights. Ramirez with eight points. Right now with the ball here, let's see what she can do. Count it. 
There's Lamidas, 10 points for her. And it is now Wagner on top, 27-28, as they take the lead here in the second quarter. Working the ball around, Lady Knight shot, 12-footer, good. Erica Chapman scoring here for the Lady Knights, 29-28, and now we have a battle back and forth as the Lady Knights retake the lead. Chapman doing a great job there of challenging Smith, making her come outside and try to block that shot. Oh, shot is blocked there that time by Lambert, and they can't get it back here. Cross the court pass to her, and Lambert now with the ball. Inside. Millet wants to shoot, she does. No good. Rebound here. Off the glass is no good. Smith comes in and takes that one away from everybody. Well, she's still in one fell swoop there, just picked the ball off out of midair and was able to get it down for, for Wagner. Yeah, over two or three girls. Ross loses the ball after a little bit of pressure from Brady. And they're gonna call jump ball. Possession arrow says it goes to the Lady Knights. 48 seconds, 48.3 seconds, 29-28. And um, Cibolo still on top. Under a minute here to go with 43 seconds now and counting. Lambert holding the ball over there to Brady. Inside, shot. Uh, no foul called. Millet comes up with it, and she scores her first two points of the game. 31-28. Cibolo still leading. Ross with the ball here. They'll work the ball, work the ball around here. Nice and easy. Ramirez handling it to Clark. Clark wants to go. Let's see if she'll go inside to Dunn. Dunn playing post against Millet. Smith actually going to work her way in. Ten seconds left in the half. Ross with the ball. Five. Four seconds. Three. She's got to shoot. She does, and it was blocked by Brady. And that will be the end of the first half. Is there a foul called? That's three shots right there. Yeah, they're going to say there was a foul called. Nope, no foul called. And that'll be the end of the first half. And it is San Antonio Wagner leading by a score of 31 to 28. We'll take a break. Oh, hold on a second. We're not done here. Yeah, no foul called. That's it. That's the end of the first half. San Antonio Wagner. Right now down to Cibolo Steele by score of 31-28. We'll be back with second half action after this. Test it, one, two, one, two. Mike test, test, test. Mike check one. Test good, sound good. Test one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello. Test, 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 one, one, two. Does that sound good? Sound okay? Yep. Test, 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 one, two, one, two. Testing one. Check one. Checking one. Check one. Mic check two, mic check two, mic check two. Check with our viewing audience. Testing one. Test, 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 test. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Stats. Here come the stat. Stats. Thank you. Half time, stats. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, sounds good. Test it, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.
Test one, two. How does it sound? All right, getting ready to begin second half action here at the Field House at Texas on the campus of Texas Pan American. We got uh, leading right now the home team, Cibolo Steel, tw 31 to 28. About what we expected, David, just a, a good, clean game between these two uh, competitive teams. We found out a little bit of information at the half. Uh, Wagner actually beat Cibolo Steel in the regular season. Uh, by 10 points. So. That's a very got a talented little bit of confidence. team there. Yeah, right? it's, it's hard to beat a team by, you know, twice in a year, three times in a year. But Taking a look at the, we got Amber Ramirez, who is the leading scorer for San Antonio Wagner with 10 points. Tisha Smith right behind her with nine. Ashley Ross with five points. Uh, Clark, Keauna Clark with four points. And taking a look at Cibolo Steele, the leading scorer for them is uh, Kinsey Calvert with 11 points. Erica Chapman with 10. Uh, Bree Millett has four points. And Jade Brady with two points. Cibolo Steele has been shooting 43.3% from the field, while San Antonio Wagner an incredible 52.4% from the field. Interesting uh, tidbit of information that you were able to find out. Tisha Smith, I understand, is signed with UTSA Roadrunners. For next year, so you know you're looking at a lot. We talk about the talent, talent level that's on the court right now, and you've got Tisha Smith, who's already signed to go play college ball, and there's a couple of other players who are underclassmen who will probably end up playing college ball in, in the very near future as well. Yeah, talking to some of the Wagner fans, uh, I mean, yeah, some of the Wagner fans, they say that the one that they really expect to see playing at the next level and possibly, you know, uh, on ESPN is uh, Amber Ramirez, because at just a freshman, five-seven guard. You know, here she is starting uh, for a team that's in the regional finals, maybe in the in the final four if they win here. That they uh, some of the fans are saying, you know, they expect big things from her over the next three years. You know, and she's a, 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 an impact player, not just a starter, but scores a lot of points, and she's got great leadership qualities as well. Everybody in the court constantly looking to her uh, for guidance in in, in the uh, what, what they're going to do on the offensive defensive scheme of the play, and to have that kind of maturity level speaks volumes. She's, uh, the leading scorer the, she's the leading scorer right now on their team as she walks right in front of us. Pretty good. How are you doing? Having and a good game? Great character awesome. for this young lady as well. Came by, said hello to us, and, uh, you know, we're looking at uh, the future of this team here. Absolutely. Right before the game tits off here in the second half, she says hello to us. How are you guys doing? Nice, calm, cool, collected for a freshman. Yeah. Playing. This is probably the biggest game that she's been in so far. 31-28, here we go, beginning the second half. Cibolo Steele on top. Start off very, very patient. Oh, what a lot of Smith. And Ross, just she saw an opening there and took a chance, and it was a turnover. Knights with the ball now, and they'll take their time, try to set up an offense here. Chapman trying to feed it to Millet. And Millet starts. He wasn't a starter here in the first half, and she is in now. As uh, Sari Rodriguez will uh, start off on the bench. Yeah, Millet is one of those uh, players, much like Ginobili, a six man off the bench, but a big, big impact player as well. Calvert out to Brady. Brady driving, loses the ball, picks it back up, and back out to Calvert. Calvert will take a try. No good. Rebound, Millet up strong. And score here. First points of the second half go to Cibolo Steel, 33-28. They're on top. The Lady Knights are 7-12 here in the second, third quarter. Right on cue, Millet does exactly what we talked about. Comes in and makes a big impact play. Once again, try to feed it inside to Smith, the UTSA signee off the glass. Even though she was double teamed, scored two points for her. Three point game. Cibolo Steel, 33 to 30.
Lambert handling the ball for the Lady Knights. Brady with a shot on the outside, no good. Ross quickly down the court. She's not going to set up a half-court off, but she wanted a little fast break there. Unable to find anything, though. Out to Clark. Now Ramirez with the ball. See what she can do off the dribble. Nope, she'll pass it away to Ross. And look for something here. Working it. Ross, she takes that shot, three-pointer. Off the mark, no good. And that one will be possession to the Knights. You know, the patience on both these teams uh, as they work through the offensive scheme and wait and try to find the open man is just, it, it's, uh, it's amazing. And a true tribute to the, the coaches and to the players as well. All right, here we go. Lambert taking her time. And Brady, what are they looking for? Inside shot. Nope, outside. In and out, no good. Knights come up with it. Off the front of the rim, no good. Still battling against Smith. And that one bouncing everywhere and coming up with it is going to be Ramirez and Wagner. Smith does a good job there, just stands there with her hands up in the air, knowing that it's going to be difficult for anybody to get a shot over her. Ramirez, no good. What Smith. A pass. Yep, there's a nice pass there to Tisha Smith. One point game. Cibolo Steele is leading 33 32. Well, these players are going to have to be well conditioned because this is going to be one of those games. They'll call a timeout here. Cibolo Steele will. It's going to come down to the fourth quarter, David, the final moments of the game because this one's tied all the way. You better be in shape here to play your best basketball down the stretch. Yeah, most definitely. And, you know, there's. there's they, they played the first half in a couple of spurts, you know, where they got into a, a run and gun, a fast break game, if you will, and then they kind of slowed things down. So right now we're seeing the calm before the storm, I think. You know, we'll probably see a little bit of a run between both teams and then calm things down a little bit again. But, you know, it's everything that we talked about yesterday on the way on the drive home that this game would be a tight-knit game. It's going to boil down to, like you said, the last couple of minutes. And, you know, at, to sound cliche, probably down to free throws going to be a good close game here. We're in the uh, third quarter right now with 5-15. A lot of basketball to be played. No one has really broken away as of yet in this contest. Knights with the possession here. Kyra Lambert looking over the situation. Brady takes the shot. She likes that spot. And that one's no good. Trying to get her own rebound. But nope, Ross comes up with it. You know, Brady not afraid to, to take a three, and, and if she gets hot, she could cause a lot of problems later on in the game. Clark, she's been kind of quiet here, battling there, almost lost the ball. Back out to Ross, and can't get inside to Smith because they keep doubling, double teaming her very, very nicely. Erica Chapman has done a good job on Tisha Smith, and here we go, quickly down the court, Calvert, one on one against Ramirez. And good job by Ramirez on the defensive end. But coming up with it is Lambert. Millet will, shot, will take a shot from the outside. No good. And rebound inside there is Calvert. And she was fouled. McKenzie Calvert will go to the line. Calvert with 13 points. Leading the Lady Knights. You know, you got to give a lot of credit to throws on both these teams. Not anybody even remotely close to foul trouble. Halfway through the third quarter, and, and you got Millet who has two fouls, Wilson who has two fouls, and that's about it. Jade, a nice clean game here. Jade Brady, Jade Brady will take a break, and coming into the game will be Sarai Rodriguez. 34-32. Wagner, um, uh, Cibolo Steele still on top. Amber Ramirez feeding inside to Smith, and Smith has to be very careful not to step on that baseline. Nice. Off the glass is good, and we're all tied up at 34 with four minutes left in the third quarter. Smith really smooth on that turnaround. Nice little kiss off the glass, nothing but net. Yep, starting to warm up a little bit is Tisha Smith. Feed that one inside. Rebound, no good. Clark comes up with it, sees Ramirez over here bleeding out. And she'll take the ball, shoot it from about 15 feet, no good. And Clark couldn't hold on to it there in Ross, and it'll go to the Lady Knights. You know, Ramirez did a wonderful job there of adjusting to the ball 
and adjusting to the defender. Came back as the pass was going to be short. Sarai Rodriguez in a position to pick it off, and Amber Ramirez just jumps right in front of her and takes it away. All right, here we go. Shot from the outside. Lambert, no good. Rebound. Knights come up with a offensive rebound, but they're going to call traveling there that time on Erica Chapman. Chapman with 10 points on the game, but really where she's done a good job is keeping and They're going to bring in, uh, they'll take out Chapman, give her a little bit of a break. She only has one foul, but they'll bring in a new uh, person. And let me check out to see who that is. That is going to be Janae Gardner. As Gardner now will work against Tisha Smith. Good little battle there between Gardner and Smith as Tisha Smith trying to battle inside. Find her way and trying to find an open spot. Blocked away that time. Clark loses the ball. And Calvert now on the open court. Gets the ball back from Ramirez. Ramirez trying to knock that one into one of her teammates, but she got knocked it right to Clark. Looks like Chapman is actually getting a little bit of medical attention there on the, on the sidelines. All right, here's Sarai Rodriguez now with the ball to Lambert. Not a lot of movement here now as the coach now will set up a play, and now you'll see the movement here on the offensive side. Rodriguez open for a second. Almost traveled, got it away. Gardner with a shot there off the glass, no good. And rebound there that time by Wilson. Kind of a touch foul there. If you I don't think Nella did anything but put her hand on her waist there. That's three on Millet. Yeah, Millet will have to take a break. Bovard will come into the game. All right, timeout on the field, or on the court, I should say, with 2.23 in the third quarter. It's 34 to 34. We'll take a break. Two twenty-three in the third period. Leading scorer right now is Tisha Smith with 15 points, leading all scorers in this game so far. He's the senior post for San Antonio Wagner. Bovad with the ball now. Clark driving the baseline there. Count that one there for Clark. 36-34, San Antonio Wagner now leading. Chapman, across the court to Sarai Rodriguez. Behind the back, finds Millet. Millet, score it there. Nice little rotation of the ball there. Bree Millet scores for Cibolo Steele. 36-36 is our score. It's another freshman right there. Count it there once again. And 36-38. 38, and that is what, uh, Wagner on top. Millet driving, no good. And who's going to come up with it? Looks like it's going to be one of the members of the Knights over there coming up with that's Mackenzie Calvert. What about the confidence that Coach Camacho has? He's got two freshmen out on the court right now, in Ramirez and Favad.
All right, coming back in the game is Jade Brady. Millet will take a break. Millet will sit down with uh, eight points. Not bad off the bench when he can, uh, can contribute eight points. Not bad for a sixth man. And Brady has two points. And she's a little bit more deadly from the outside is Brady. Govard with the ball now. To Ross inside Smith. Smith double team. Good job coming up from the backside of Calvert to knock that one away. Now she is here with the ball. Man, Lambert is quick. Perfect. Nice job by Kyra Lambert. And you give her a little bit of space and she's going to be deadly. 48 to 30, San Antonio Wagner on top. 37 seconds left in the third. Turnover. Calvert with the ball. Out front once again to Lambert. Lambert with six points now. And she's helping the cause here for Cibolo Steel. Cibolo Steel on top, 42-38. Ramirez trying to get hot from the outside. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Sarai Rodriguez. And she's bumped from behind by Ross, and that'll be a foul on her. Yeah, Rodriguez does a good job of cutting in between the defenders, forcing them into a situation where they may foul her. 5.4 seconds left. Still a close game, 42-38. Wagner on top. I'm sorry, Cibolo still on top. My bad. Two seconds. Going to have to shoot it. She does lay up, count it at the buzzer. Two more points on the board for Erica Chapman and Cibolo Steele. They're up 48, 44 to 38 as we go to the fourth quarter. We'll take a break. Thank you. As we go to the fourth quarter, you want to go down the totals, David? Keisha Smith with 15 points. Keisha Smith with 15 points. More importantly, uh, San Antonio Wagner shooting 53% from the field, and Tabola still shooting 44%. Uh, we've got uh, Keisha Smith with 15 points, leading all scores. One of the things I want to note is those last five seconds, it seemed as if Wagner came out a little bit stunned from, from the uh, foul. Kind of played a little bit slow, and uh, Sabola still was able to sneak in a, a quick bucket, giving him a leading six. All right, here we go. Final quarter of the game, 44-38, to 38, with Sibolo Steele on top. The winner here goes to the state's final four. Lambert goes inside here to Chapman and back outside to Rodriguez. Rodriguez with the ball quickly. No good. Rebound, Brady. And Smith will come up with that rebound after Brady the miss from her. Ross now with the ball. A little sense of urgency now here for San Antonio Wagner. And count that one there for Ross. Ross taking it tough to the rack. Puts up a very difficult shot. Gets enough spin on the ball just to roll it in uh, for a bucket and has a shot at a three-point play here. All right, here we go, Ashley. Ashley Ross will go to the line here. Try to cut that lead down. To three points. And nope, no good. 44 40. Cibolo Steele on top. Rodriguez moving that ball around here. Lambert finds Brady. Smith, they're going to say, yeah, it looked like a block there that time, but they're going to call a foul on Tisha Smith. That was a quick, quick whistle there. That looked pretty solid to me. Jade Brady will go to the line here. Try to increase the lead, 44 to 40. Cibolo still leading. First shot, no good. We talked about uh, coming down the free throw so far. 
in the fourth quarter. Both these two teams have not been able to capitalize there at the charity stripe. You know, and Cibolo Steel, I've seen the last two trips down, have been able to capitalize on, on the weak side, on the back side. Is somebody, they've got a flasher that's come in and has been open twice back there. So they're focusing a lot on, on the side where the ball's at, but need to make sure that somebody's taking care of the back side. Second shot is good there for Jade Brady. Five-point game. Cibolo still on top, 45-40. 7-15 left in the contest. Ross here with the ball. To Clark. Now to Tovar. Tovar rotating that ball back to Ross. And inside. Shot here is no good. And rebound. Here we go. Lady Knights on the move. Sarai Rodriguez with the ball now to Chapman. Chapman driving baseline, trying to find somebody open, and they do. Rotating that ball around and being very, very patient now here is Cibolo Steele in the fourth quarter. Calvert inside to Jade. And Rodriguez will shoot a three-pointer. No good. Brady with the rebound. And somebody finding it there is Mackenzie Calvert as she found an open lane after the pass. Yes, Calvert now opens up the lead to seven for Cibolo Steele. Yep, 47-40 now for the Lady Knights. Timeout call. Nope, they're going to call a technical here this time on the Wagner coach, Christina Camacho. Working that referee just a little too much. Yeah, just a little bit too much. And the referee's uh, real animated about what was being told to him. And Camacho is over there talking to the official, saying, what did I say or what did I do? So going to the line will be Erica Chapman here for Cibolo Steele up 47 to 40. And now a free throw here to increase the lead. No good. Two shots. Actually going to be two shots. All right, here we go, six minutes and 16 seconds. With Cibolo on top by eight points, 48 to 40. Sarai Rodriguez will inbound the pass here to Calvert. There's that pass oh, that we talked about. Oh, wide open. Ramirez uh, Tovaro come in here and foul Jade Brady and send her to the line and make her earn it from the free throw strike. That play's been open the entire fourth quarter. Keisha Smith looking to check back into the game. San Antonio Wagner is down 49 to 40 now. And Tisha Smith comes into the contest now. As they'll start to work the ball, probably back to her. Tisha Smith with uh, how many points? She's got 15 points. Leading scorer for the T-Birds. Picks up that rebound. Nine-point lead here. We've got six minutes left in the contest. San Antonio Wagons have to work their way back into this contest to play a little bit of defense as well. Ramirez shot. No good. Rebound here, Smith. Smith is going to be fouled there that time, it looks like. Falling on her a little bit was Erica Chapman. They're going to call a foul there on Chapman. You know, Ramirez actually cleared out the offense there and called her own number. The second uh. foul on Chapman. Clark to inbound the pass. Looking for Smith. Smith has it. Grabs it out of the air. Shot. No good. And back out to Clark. And there's going to be a foul there going to the hoop. And it looks like uh, Wilson will go to the line here. He couldn't get the ball to foul on. You fall know, into the hoop. And down by nine with such little time to play, it's important that uh, for Wagner, if they're going to make a comeback, that they score these points right now as the yeah. clock is not ticking. Yeah, you're exactly right. Every point, it's you know, still only a nine-point lead with three possessions. You know, that's three possessions. But, uh, yeah, when you can get these easy points, go to the line and cut that lead down, certainly does help the cause.
Take a look at some of the stats. We got Tisha Smith with 15 points in the contest. Mackenzie Calvert is the leading scorer for Cibolo School at 14. After that, it's Erica Chapman with 12. And uh, Kyra Lambert, she got eight points. Bree Millett also with eight points. So a good little distribution of points there, not really just relying on one particular player, are the Cibolo Steel Lady Knights. Uh, if you look on the other end, you got Tisha Smith with 15 points and Amber Ramirez with 10. Uh, Kiauna Clark has six points. Given the last offensive set that Wagner had down here, I anticipate them to start working towards uh, getting the ball more towards uh, Rodriguez as she called her own number there. And if they're going to make any kind of impact, she's going to have to start driving the ball a little bit more. Got to give a lot of credit to uh, um, Mackenzie Calvert for the defense that she has been playing on Ramirez and shutting her, not shutting her down, but you know, holding her to just 10 points during the game. Five minutes and 40 seconds left in the contest. And here we go at the line, Kiana Wil Kaylin Wilson. 5'10", uh, junior for San Antonio Wagner. First shot, no good. Got to make these free throws. Every point is now crucial here with 540 left in the contest. Second shot here for Wilson. She misses two crucial free throws. Calvert working the ball here, Brady. And it's going to be a scramble for it there, and Cibolo Steele will retain possession. Sarri Rodriguez now working the ball, looking for a screen. Had a lane there, but they're going to say, yep, a little bit of a carry. It'll be a turnover, and Cibolo Steele unable to capitalize on that possession. And now it becomes a game, as you like to say, of just quality possessions every time down the court. Especially right now. Down by nine points is Wagner. Smith, turn around. They're going to say she walked. Nope. They're going to say a foul. But on the floor here, she'll go to the free throw line. And let's see what the Letitia Smith can do at the free throw line. You see McKenzie Calvert. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's on the floor, so it'll be uh, passed in. <coughs> McKenzie Calvert just happy that the shot was on the floor and they don't give her the continuation for the bucket. Absolutely. Uh, to Ramirez. Oh, what a good job there that time done by Lambert. Knocked that one away. She gets the ball back. Easy lay in for her. 51 to 40, 11 point lead here for Cibolo Seal. They've been playing great defense as well, dude. As it's been kind of uh, not very quality shots here for San Antonio Wagner. Ramirez tries to get something with a three pointer. They needed that one. That's the freshman that we talked about. She's going to have to put this team on her back. Her and Smith. And now the press comes into play, the press that we saw yesterday. There's a turnover, and it comes off the press, and here comes Ross out in the open court. Gets it out here to Clark. Clark, will she take a shot? She will. No good. Rebound. Cibolo Steel. Smith now putting a little, applying a little bit of pressure there. Coming up with it is Calvert. Out to Sarai Rodriguez, and they spread the court a little bit here. Rodriguez looking, looking, surveying. And she can say she traveled. Yep, good pressure there that time. Brought on by Ramirez. Yeah, Ramirez came in to help with a double team. And uh, Rodriguez saw her out of the corner eye and kind of hesitated just a little bit, caused her to pick up the ball and travel. 51-43, the crowd behind us getting a little antsy and pushing for San Antonio Wagner here to try to get back into this contest. Under four minutes left in the game. Ramirez under a lot of pressure now. Ross with the ball. Yeah, yeah. Ramirez will probably draw a double team every time, which, of course, will leave somebody open on the court. She needs to have the presence of mind uh, to realize that and, and find that open person as she sees a double team coming towards her. Foul there that time on Chapman. That'll be three personal fouls on her, and Ross will go to the line. Yep. Count that one there for Ross. Let's see, Ross now. Ross now with her second free throw. Millet now playing in the contest. Sarri Rodriguez will take a break. 
And Ross makes both free throws. 51-45, timeout called on the court. Three minutes and 49 seconds. And slowly but surely, Wagner is cutting down, cutting that lead down a little bit here. Yep, they've got five unanswered points. And, uh, you know, if you're still Bolo, you want to call a timeout and regroup and make sure everybody's fresh and understand that there's three minutes, 49 seconds left in somebody's season here. Yeah, and here now, you know, in-game coaching is critical at this point of the game to get your troops ready to go and, and talk to them and, you know, pull out all the stops here to, to motivate them to win this contest because you're, you're down by six, you're up by six, and, uh, you know, you got the girls really, you have to have them execute right now. You know, and it's one of those situations, I think, where if it comes down to a last second shot, you know, who's going to be the hero? Everybody's going to look to Smith or to, to Rodriguez on one side, or Ramirez, I should say, uh, and on the other side, you can look at Calvert and Lambert. So the focus, I think, is going to be on, on those players, and it may be a time that you actually look to somebody else to step it up uh, and, and pull off the win on a last second heroic shot. San Antonio Wagner shooting 50% from the field now. Cibolo still 38.5% from the field. Tisha Smith has 15 points for San Antonio Wagner. Leading scorer is McKenzie Calvert with 16 for Cibolo Steele. And Wagner comes out with a press and Cibolo breaks it effortlessly. Yeah. Lambert now working against Clark. The, 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 the clock is their friend, so you'll see Lambert dancing around with the ball for a little while and looking for somebody, and you find Brady on the backside. Rebound here. Smith trying to tie it up, and they're going to say, yep, jump ball. And possession arrow says goes to San Antonio Wagner. So good defensive possession there for the Lady Thunderbirds. Yeah, good job there by Chapman getting up and fighting with Smith to try and get that ball and give them the possession arrow which is so important going late into the game. 51-45, three minutes and 13 seconds. Ramirez shot. It looked like it was partially blocked there that time. And Civilo Steele now has a possession of the ball. And Ross able to pickpocket there the ball. Still a little pressure. And finally gets it out here to Millet. Millet waits for the rest of the team to come back on the side of Civilo Steele. And they're going to call a blocking foul there that time on Clark as Clark was uh, trying to intercept that one. Yeah, Millet hung that ball up there just a little bit too long and allowed for Clark to make a break on it and, and try to get that uh, pick. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this game across the Rio Grande Valley in San Antonio. You're enjoying this broadcast. Good close ball game still, 42-40, I mean 52-45, seven-point game, 256. With Cibolo still on top right now Ashley Ross here now with the ball seven points down Ross with the ball trying to cut through the defense blocking foul there that time she'll go to the line for two shots yeah Ross just came through there real quick made a little stutter step at the free throw line and then took it to the left side and picked up the block and again we talk about points being scored now so important points being scored when the clock isn't moving foul was called uh, there that time on Erica Chapman that is her fourth foul Chapman with 13 points they got to be careful with her and she'll stay in the game does Erica Chapman with four fouls five fouls and you're out in high school basketball. Still got two minutes and 45 seconds. She stays in the game. That's going to be a little bit tougher when she's battling at, uh, Tisha Smith. Second free throw. Good for Ross. 52-47. A little bit of a press here by Wagner. Ross now. Hand checking Calvert. Coming out here. Calvert now with the ball, working against Clark. Cibolo still can take their time with the lead here, 52-47, 221, work some of that clock. Try to find a quality possession. Shot no good there by Chapman. Rebound Smith. And here comes Ross. Two minutes and nine seconds left in the contest, 52-47. Cibolo Steele. Ramirez with the ball. 
She takes it up strong. No good, rebound. Wagner, count there that one. And who was that that came up with it? Kaylin, Kaylin Wilson with the points there to make it 52-49. San Antonio Wagner cutting into that lead. Yeah, it's, a, it's all that we expected this game to boil down to. Less than two minutes to go, and it's a three-point, one-possession game. Not bad. It was nine. They were down by nine not too long ago. Now it's just a three-point, like you said, three-point game, 52-49. And San Antonio Wagner has battled back nicely. You know, one of the interesting things they've done is they've let Ross now handle the ball and bring it down, moving Ramirez more to uh, the, the two position to the three on the side, giving her a little bit more opportunity to to work the baseline and then take a shot uh, from one of the corners. Got one minute and 58 seconds left in the contest. Remember, the winner here goes to the state finals in Austin, Texas. This is the regional finals, the region four finals. In Edinburgh, Texas, at Texas Pan American, UTPA, home of the Bronx. They're coming here with the press now, David. Putting a little, find a little bit of pressure is Wagner. And they do a good job of breaking it. As Lambert with the ball, passing it to Millet. Millet, no good, rebound. Calvert, and she'll go to the line. I'm sorry, that was Erica Chapman who was fouled, and she'll go to the line. You know, and the good thing for for Wagner is that uh, Smith came into this quarter with only with only one foul. So she's getting, actually that's her fourth foul. Who's that? Oh, okay, yeah, you're exactly right. It's Tisha Smith now with four fouls. You're right, David. So the two big girls underneath, Chapman and Smith, four fouls each. First shot, no good. They needed that one. Three-point game, 52-49, 1:47 left in the contest. Second free throw was good for Chapman, Erica Chapman. Chapman with 13 points on the game. Ross now pushing the ball up the court. Out to Ramirez. Ramirez shot, three-pointer, no good. Rebound Millet. And they're going to call a foul there that time. And who's that going to go against? Well, let's see. Look like it's going to go. Is it not Smith? It's going to go against Ashley Ross. And we're in the bonus now here. Both teams are in the bonus, so every foul will mean we go to the charity strike. Well, we talked about that early in the broadcast. It's going to boil down to free throws. And that offensive set there for San Antonio Wagner is a perfect example of why they have Ross bringing the ball uh, down court because it allows for uh, uh, Ramirez to get open off of a pick and, and take a shot from the top of the key. Millet with eight points for the sophomore. And she makes the free throw nicely there, making it nine points for her, 54-49, as they increase their lead. By five. Second shot here now for Millet. Makes them both. 136 left in the game. Six point game here. Clark with the ball, driving baseline, trying to make something happen. Inside shot, count it there. Nice points for Wilson. And Wilson's come to live here a little bit for Wagner. Press now. Oh, able to break it in Calvert now. Finds the open man. Rebound Smith. Loses it momentarily. Gets it right back. And here we go out to Ross. One minute and six seconds left in the contest. Ross fouled. And that'll be on the floor. No, no yeah, no bucket. They're not going to give that to her. That's an NBA That's continuation. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. <laughs> That's an NBA continuation. But Ross doing a wonderful job at the point right now. Just getting everything to go her way. Four. Flying through the lanes. Yeah, you can see the determination here by San Antonio Wagner to put points on the board. Every time one of these girls gets her hands on the ball, they're looking to make something happen. 51-54. They needed that free throw, but able to come up with it. Nice. Wilson once again with points on the board. Two-point game. Under a minute to go here. Wagner applying the pressure. Millet with the ball. She'll give it up here. And now they can work the clock here with a two-point lead. Lambert, shot. They're going to call a foul there. And let's see who it's going to be on. That's, uh, that's Smith. That's five, and she's done. What a move by Lambert to take that to the rack. Now, the foul is going to go against uh, Kaylin Wilson. That's her third foul. Wilson will go to the line. I'm sorry, Wilson with the foul. 
And going to the line will be Lambert with a two-point lead, 55-53. Has an opportunity here to yeah. make it a four-point game. First free throw, no good. And Wagner sets up. They know what their play is now here, down by two points. Will they go? Well, here, let's see what happens with this free throw first. It's exactly second free throw. the way we expected this game to swing. Very close game. Lambert, second shot. Is good. Three point lead here for Cibolo Steele. 46 seconds left in the contest. Dare Great. I say OT? It would be fitting, but uh, you know, San Antonio Wagner has had to battle back. They've been playing behind most of this contest almost the entire second half. You know, they were down by nine. I think that was the biggest uh, lead that Cibolo Steele had. So they've just been trying to battle back and try to battle back. And they want to just try to take, you know, try to tie things up now, hopefully with a three with 46 seconds left. Kylan Wilson coming up big in this last three minutes of the game. Yeah, a couple of big buckets for her as they have been concentrating. The defense has a civil steal on uh, Smith, on Tisha Smith. So Wilson's come in coming up with some big shots. Four points for her. The last four points have come from her. Thank you. Uh, Wilson has, Kaylin Wilson has six points. The last four have come in the fourth quarter. So here we go. San Antonio Wagner will get the ball. And let's see how much gas they have left in the engine here. 46 seconds left. Three-point game. San Antonio Wagner is down. And Cibolo Steele will come up and apply a little bit of pressure. That's Calvert and Lambert up there. They, we've seen what they can do. On the press, but now they set up and come right back. Yeah, Ross will handle the ball here, and she looks to Ramirez. Almost a travel there. Ramirez inside to Smith. Smith loses the ball. Good defense by Millet. 32 seconds left. Trying to get it inside to Smith. Nothing. Ross working it. Wants to take a shot, and she'll go to the free throw line as they will count a foul there. It looks like on Bree Millet. 26.8 seconds left, and Ross goes to the line. Yeah, Rust again taking it to the rack, really tough and strong. That's and that'll be five game. fouls on Millet. She'll leave the game. Millet leaves the game with ten points and six rebounds. And again, one of those big impact players coming off the bench, looks like Manu Ginobili. And Sarai Rodriguez will come into the contest to replace her. Twenty-six point eight seconds, and Millet just she's a sophomore, so she's got a couple of more years to play basketball here. And maybe another game after this one. Let's see. This one's still close. 56-53. Ross needs both these two throws, free throws. Off the front of the rim, no good. Second free throw here now for Ross. Tendency in situations like this is to come up short. Second one, good. Two-point game, 56-54. Here comes the press by Wagner. And they can take their time getting down the court. Clock is on their side. Ramirez wants to foul, and she does. And they will send Kyra Lambert to the free throw line to make them earn it from there. Amber Ramirez's first foul of the game. She's still safe. 19.5 seconds left in the contest. Talked about it and possibly coming down to free throws, and certainly is, David. Most definitely. <laughs> Lambert, first shot. Hard. Yeah. That shot did not look good at all when it came off her hands. Those of you who wonder why you practice free throws, free throws, free throws, especially at the end of practice, it's because of times like this where you have to be already dead tired and you still got to shoot them to win the game. Second free throw. Good. Three point game once again. 57, 54, 18 seconds, 17. Clock is counting down. Ramirez with the ball. They need a three from way downtown. That one not even close. 11.8 seconds. They're going to need a foul, David. Down by three points. Ramirez is just way off the mark. Still a lot of game to be played. 11.8 seconds. They're going to have to foul and send Cibolo Steele to the line here. The problem with that is, who do you send? <laughs> they all shoot free throws yeah. 
very, very well. And Ramirez came up the court there, the freshman, and she knew that her team needed a three-pointer. And she came up from way downtown, way outside the, the three-point mark. And uh, just that one was not even close, unfortunately. Yeah, so Bolo shooting 66.7% from the, the charity stripe. So, you know, you've got uh, everybody pretty much, you know, clicking on all cylinders. They were at in the first half, they were at three for three. In the second half, they're 11 for 18. They're gonna have to foul, they're gonna have to foul quick, and they're gonna have to hope that they miss a couple of shots. Thank you very much. 11.8 seconds left in the contest, and they're gonna have to foul quickly. One of the members of the Knights, do they try for a steal first? And if that doesn't happen, do they foul or do they foul right away? We'll see. You got two options. Go for the steal first and foul or just Foul as soon as someone gets the ball. Let's see. Somebody's going to break long on this. I can almost guarantee you. There it is, Ross. He's able to get the ball on the inbound. Call a timeout, possibly. What's the call? He calling a foul? Travel, travel. Traveling is the call there on the floor as Ross got the ball rolled a little bit, and they called the traveling. And here we go. 9.6 seconds left now in the contest. Somebody else is going to break. Once again, Brady inbounds it. They'll call a foul right there quickly, and they'll send to the line Kyra Lambert. Lambert, sophomore, will go to the line. Is that Lander? I'm, yeah, it is. Kyra Lambert will go to the line, sophomore. 8.2 seconds, three-point lead. If they had a chance there with that one pass. Yeah, a little controversial call there by the official, but... Could have gone either way, you know. When you're down on the ground rolling like that, anything can be called. For the record, the uh, possession arrow is in favor of Sabolo Steele, so had that been called a jump ball, it still would have been their ball. Here we go. Lambert first free throw. No good. A little too hard, a little too tough. Still got a chance. 8.2 <laughs> seconds. They're still alive here is San Antonio Wagner. They need a rebound here and a miss. Second shot here by Lambert. Sophomore at the line. That one's good. And here we go, 8.2 seconds. Ross with the ball. Wants the three-pointer. Fakes it, then she shoots it short. And that's it. That'll be it. Sabolo still wins it by a score of 58 to 54. And the Lady Knights will be going to the state Final Four in Austin next week. All that we expected. It came down to the last 30 seconds, and of course, it came down to the big clutch free throws that each team had to make. You know, you, you can't question uh, either one of these teams the heart, the desire, the determination, and the hard work that they put in. You got to give them a lot of credit. You know, they made the top eight teams in the state, and, and there's something to be said for that. Yeah, the Elite Eight here for uh, San Antonio Wagner. They come up a little bit short, and it will be Sabolo Steel going on to the next round. Actually, to the next round, which is the state final four in Austin. And just a fantastic game for them. A close ball game here. A four-point win. 58-54 is the final with Sabolo Steel winning it. And the leading scorer with McKenzie Calvert with 16 points. We got uh, Kyra Lambert with 14 points. Also, Erica Chapman with 14 points. And Bree Millett with 10 points. So four girls in double figures. Help the cause here for Sabolo Steel. Final game played for Tisha Smith. As she will now move on to the University of Texas San Antonio. She had 15 points. Ashley Ross with 12. She took the final shot there for three, which was short. And then Amber Ramirez, a sensational freshman, who will be back for three more years for San Antonio Wagner with 13 points. And that will do it here from the University of Texas Pan American. I'd like to thank, of course, uh, the staff here at the, at the Fieldhouse with the Bronx. I'd like to thank the coaches from uh, San Antonio Wagner and also Coach San Antonio Wagner, uh, Christian uh, Camacho, Christina Camacho, and also Kerry Wallace from Cibolo Steel for all their help in getting this broadcast on. Uh, David Fox, just a great game, great tournament here, and I think they'll be back again next year. We know we, we, knew we had the boys here next week. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. It's, it's nice to have, again, we talked about the teams from San Antonio being able to come down and experience playing in the Rio Grande Valley for many years we were having to travel up there so it, it's a wonderful experience and 
we hope everybody who is uh, in attendance here today and watching online enjoyed the game and look forward to uh, the boys' uh, regional tournament next weekend. All right, once again, final score, it will be Cibolo Steel moving on to the state championship game. They win it by a final score of 58 to 54. Good afternoon, everybody. Have a good one.